for to be the number one. And, and that's that basically what you presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. I think sometimes you just get so caught up in just the day to day aspect of just go to the rink, go to the game, you know, you're so focused on that. But I think when you go through something that, you know, makes you think a little bit extra about your life and your health, I think it, it really helps you embrace your life outside of the rink. Straight to the head, good drive the wall! As much as we were upset to lose it against San Jose, like, and it ended up being great, uh, knowing that we found out what happened to Shea. Was it lucky? I mean, a little bit. What he found out if we had won, I have no idea. After losing a heartbreaking game seven during last year's playoffs, 24-year-old Alder Grove, BC native Shea Theodore received a call from Hockey Canada asking him to play at the World Championship in Slovakia. You know, I talked to my agent and he thought it was a good thing to do. I mean, when you get knocked out in the first round and, you know, you weren't expecting it, um, you know, it's a, it's a long off season for sure. And it was definitely an opportunity I jumped at. Random drug tests are common at international events, but being tested twice didn't sit well with Theodore. You know, normally one is pretty common, but two within, you know, two games, you know, that's not, not very normal. And, um, you know, I got pulled into a room with, you know, four guys in suits and they told me I tested positive for HCG, which, you know, at the time I had absolutely no idea what that was. We didn't know much because he kept it to himself. I mean, for him, it must have been like uh, mentally uh, tough to, to go through that alone. And uh, I mean, the end result is pretty, uh, pretty much the worst case scenario. HCG is a hormone usually found in pregnant women. So Theodore immediately flew home to Las Vegas to meet with doctors. It took about a week and a half to, you know, do all the blood tests and, and get the scans and, you know, really have them do a full, full physical, you know, ended up finding out that it was cancer. And, you know, that's a, that's a tough pill to swallow, but, you know, the way that the doctors and the team, you know, were with me the whole way was, was really nice. I was in complete shock and I was a little scared too. Honestly, it's never easy, especially um, when one of your best friends calls you and tells you that he's got cancer. Theodore was diagnosed with testicular cancer and was scheduled to have surgery a little more than a week later. I sent a text to everyone, and uh, when I saw that, I just FaceTimed in right away, and I was super worried, wanted to know what was happening. It's a lot scarier. It's not like... I broke my arm, I have six weeks I have to have surgery, and I'm back in six to eight weeks. It's, I have cancer, I could, I have to cut a part of my body out. Theodore is currently cancer free. During this ordeal, it's been hard for him not to reflect on what could have been. It's just the butterfly effect of everything where, you know, if we don't lose that game, you know, we don't go to the world championships and um, you know, I likely don't find it. So after everything I went through, I firmly believe that everything happens for a reason. You know, the good or the bad, I think, um, you know, it's, it's always something to build off of and, um, you know, just really appreciate every day that you get. On November 21st, during Hockey Fights Cancer Awareness Month, Theodore's grandmother, who's battling stage four breast cancer, was invited to a game for the opening face-off. The team reached out and asked if she wanted to drop the puck and, when I when I told her it was it was pretty special. I mean, she was was so thrilled and to to get that honor and um, you know to be able to share that that memory with her is awesome. Uh, to share that moment with her grandson is uh, uh, you know maybe not the circumstance you want to, and yet I think uh, she she did say you know you make the best of a of a bad situation and uh, they sure did that. Hands it off. Here's Theodore. He'll walk in and score. She really wanted early detection, not to say woes me, pours me. It was more about how um, how can he help others? How can he? He was so lucky to have such early detection, and it was a fluke on how it happened. But now it's like, how do we get the word out that you can get help early if you've been screened? 
the biggest savior of the whole thing was how early it was and um, was how key key that was to the whole process. Like, there's a lot of guys that you know find out five, 10, 15 years and, and you know don't get a doctor's test or don't you know check themselves and um, you know that's when it can cause more serious complications and um, that's why you know early detection is the biggest part. Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.